My name is Dr. Nitin Singh. Today I will be talking about the bonding in composite. Now in the bonding there are basically two techniques we all have read. One is total edge and the other one is self edge. Now in the total edge what we do? We use after cavity preparation we use this thing that is what we all know action. We apply this then we apply the wash it then we apply the bonding agent cure it and then we apply the composite whereas the other technique that is self edge in that we do not edge we do not remove the smear layer what we do after cavity preparation we straight, straight away take a bonding agent which is a sixth or seventh generation bonding agent and we straight away apply it onto the tooth and then straight away we apply the composite today I will be talking about total edge technique in the total edge technique, as the name says, total. What do you understand by the term total? As 1 plus 1 becomes 2. That is what we are totaling. Same thing. When we are applying this etchant onto the tooth surface, like we are applying this etchant, are we seeing it is enamel or it is dentine? We are not seeing. That's what. We are etching the surface of enamel and dentine together. That's why the term is total etch technique now how do we perform this now after cavity preparation we do the isolation of a tooth if, if you can apply the rubber dam that would be the ideal thing however if you are not applying the rubber dam at least please apply the cotton roll and do apply the suction and then we dry the tooth surface after cavity preparation like we dry the tooth surface and after drying of the tooth surface then we apply the agent now again etchant comes in the gel form and the liquid form gel form is always preferable like i am using the gel form because in the liquid form if we are applying the liquid etchant flows through the unnecessary areas which we do not want to etch so always go with 37 percent phosphoric acid in the gel form now the question arises for how much time this etchant should remain uh, the answer is minimum of 15 seconds and if you go with the phillips what it says it says 20 to 30 seconds and then after 20 to 30 seconds you are going to wash this etchant with water like see some of the operator how they wash just see they just apply okay done and they straight away apply the surf dry the surface and start applying the bonding agent which is absolutely wrong what will happen if you just apply this much water this much water just see again what happens Clinically, you will see there is no etchant now, but if you see microscopically, what is happening? The etchant has gone inside the dentinal lipids and if this etchant will going to remain, what it will do? It will result in post-operative sensitivity. So you have to keep on washing, keep on washing for how much time? Constant the water should go for 20 seconds. That is what the guideline. Keep on applying the water, keep on applying the water, keep on applying the water for 20 seconds then after 20 seconds again dry the surface and we isolate the tooth now there is a difference between drying and desiccation this is what known as drying this is drying and what is desiccation this is what we are doing desiccation this is what known as excessive drying in the dentine we always go with the wet bonding never with the dry bonding so always dry the surface like it's dry now it's the time to apply the bonding agent. Now how to apply a bonding agent? Take the bonding agent, always shake it. And after shaking, open the bottle. And just take one drop of bonding agent. This is right. Now take always a fresh applicator tip. A fresh applicator tip and dip it. Just so see, one drop is so much of bonding agent, and then you have to apply onto the tooth surface. And when you are applying this bonding agent on the tooth surface, please do not switch off the light. Just so see, now I'll show you many of the operator what they do. Now, when the light is falling, this straight away turn off the light. This is not right. What we should do. We should always let up the light and slightly move the light away from the field of work. 
this would result in illumination fine now after application of bonding agent it is not complete you have to massage it just see i am rubbing the bonding agent on the earth surface you have to keep on massaging the bonding agent for how much time again for 20 to 30 seconds keep on massaging keep on massaging keep on massaging and after massaging of the bonding agent for 20 to 30 seconds leave the bonding agent for 1 minute do not cure it i repeat do not cure it do not cure it and leave the bonding agent for 1 minute so that the bonding agent can interact with the denti now i'll tell you one more thing some of the operator what they do they how take the bonding agent they take the bonding agent from the sides please do not do this thing because what will happen they just take the bonding agent from the sides and apply it on the surface this is not right this is not right why bonding agent consists of two things one is alcohol and uh, uh, that is what the basically the solvent and other thing is resin what is happening the bonding agent which is left on the sides of the bottle it contains only resins it do not contain any kind of solvent so this result in deterioration of the bonding agent agent so always take a drop from that take take the bonding agent and then apply it onto the tooth surface massage it leave it for one minute then after one minute you have to remove the excess bonding agent how to remove excess bonding with a three way hair syringe just see when i am doing this you will able to see the bonding agent will going to flow now this is what displacing the extra bonding agent remember the bonding will be good when the bonding agent in is a thin layer whenever the bonding agent is in thick layer bonding will be very very poor now after drying of the tooth surface so that extra bonding agent is displaced now it's time to take your curing light and you have to cure the bonding agent but some of the operator do ask me the question sir for how much time should i cure i always say the answer may be 1 second or maybe 30 seconds it all depends on the intensity of your curing light in the market there are curing light available which can cure just in 1 second also remember in 1 second and there are chinese lights which do require 20 seconds so maybe more than that so when you purchasing a curing light just see fine now after curing of the bonding agent now is the time to take the composite now when you open it just i am taking out the out the composite now just see you have taken it and straight away some of the operator what they do they straight away start applying it remember this is wrong when you take the composite always take on a clean surface now after taking the composite on the clean surface then you have to knead the bonding knead your composite so that the resin comes onto the surface now you can see my composite is very very shiny resin have come on to the surface now you can take the composite and now you can apply it onto the earth surface and you can condense now many of the operator do face the problem when they are doing this what happens composite just see start sticking and they start blaming blaming the composite to bahut bekar hai my instrument is not good i have purchased a instrument from u freedy it is 2000 still the composite is sticking now the most important thing is about the cleanliness of the instrument right now i have just see the stainless steel instrument this is gold plated instrument you can see the golden color and i have teflon coated instrument but remember it's not the instrument it's not the instrument which is responsible for the sticking of the composite it's the cleanliness clean surface of the instrument so how to clean the the surface of the instrument just take a dry cloth dip it in spirit in this while there is a spirit alcohol and remove the extra alcohol just see now you are going to use you are using going to use this cotton for cleaning of the instrument surface just see now squeeze the instrument surface from this cotton and now you find your instrument is very neat and clean now see 
no composite is not sticking just see it's not sticking so remember it's the cleanliness of the instrument which is responsible for not sticking of composite one more thing i have seen some of the operator how they prevent the sticking of composite onto the instrument just see what they do there is in between the application of the composite they always dip the instrument like this in the bonding agent they just see and dip it in, in between and they in between to prevent the sticking this is absolutely wrong why we are incorporating too much of bonding agent into the composite composite the main strength of the composite is the volume of the filler we, when we are incorporating more and more of resin that is what the bonding agent the strength is reducing down so please do not use this bonding agent best thing is to use a cotton which is dipped in alcohol for cleaning of your instrument and then you can condense the composite properly and then you can cure it with your curing light right so this is all from my side for today please do join me in my next class for further more discussions bye